All right. I think that's it. Cool. So, yeah, we got kind of a short session tonight. Uh, uh, I had a meeting earlier. Uh, good news is it looks like I'll keep my job. So that's cool. Yay. Uh, and and, uh, and the like. I, it's pretty hard. It's pretty hard. You have, to, you have to, like, actively do some pretty dumb shit at my work to get fired. Um, like, really dumb. And uh, uh, so, but, yeah, it's, it's good stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, kick on. So I think last we left off, you guys had, were battling... Goo. Yeah, yep. we were we were in the uh, that sewer area. It's an accurate way of putting it. And uh, I believe Morbarn had dove headfirst into a lot of it. Um, you yep. sure did. Sure He's my sure hero, did. Morbarn, diving into the poo. <laughs> diving in the poo. There it is. Uh, and so I mean, I, I wish I wish that my like virtual backgrounds would pick up on my hat. It, it does not. I think it's because it's got the white front. I think it views in the background. Mm. But anyways. Um, so the element was that uh, and well, the mystique of it was that one of these things had the face of Moel um, and I believe Duh. we ended on you guys slate or like cutting these things up and then just kind of dispersing them into like the water um, so yeah and then we, we saw two hallways right there was like a stair a staircase and then there was you, that you guys light. had already gone down the stairs so you guys were floating okay. down into it and this was kind of like a like a waiting like a, kind of a waiting pool that you had to walk gotcha. through it wasn't it was maybe knee uh, knee deep for most of you more barns up to your waist um uh for tearless it really didn't come up much past your shins honestly it wasn't very deep all, all things considered um but yeah there was a there was still a path going forward and the like uh, you guys were kind of examining these pillars that had some kind of like uh scrawled writing on them and like um, it didn't really make a whole lot of sense, but it was it was still there. So, what hmm. would you like to do? What do we currently see? Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, should we go look for Noravar? So Noravar, Noravar is kind oh, yeah. of standing there looking at all this crap, and he's just like, "Oh, this is gross and nasty and stuff like that." Um, he gets a little prudish, and he uh, he's like. He seems worried about being followed from behind, so he's going to try to like stay back while you guys go forward, um, okay. making sure that uh, you're not. So, like you guys did make a lot of noise in here. Something's not coming up behind you. Oh yeah, okay. what's that Talon doing? It's the Talon. The uh, Talon. Uh, the Talon is uh, the Silver Talon. Is uh, I wore my Silver Talon shirt today. Sorry, sorry, I had to do it. Nice. Uh, oh nice. I had to get meta. Yeah, because they fucking rule. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, dude, that, uh, yeah, it was a demon machine, I, I always forget, uh, the devil machine, that song fucking rules, dude, that song pumps. All right, so you, you kind of, um, the talent kind of sits there, and, like, you can see that there's, like, some glows on these runes on the walls. Um, they are pretty murky and pretty torn up, um, but they, uh, what you do gather off the more barn is that they are indicating this was, like, part of the gauntlet at one point. But based on what it's saying, it doesn't seem like that part of the gauntlet is working at all. Mm -hmm. um, it tells it, it's kind of like a it looks like some sort of um, something that says like long story short should tell you that you should like be ready to hold your breath for a very long time. Oh God! <laughs> all right. Fearless is like no, nah, I'm not swimming. I hope you're dying. <laughs> Stairs, <laughs> stairs, and catacombs, and now swimming. This is not centaur <laughs> worthy material. It's not centaur friendly. <laughs> we oh, must well. trust that we can make it and move forward. Mm -hmm. Yes, agreed. Well, yeah, you're, you're noticing that there's like door. There, there's like um, you're guessing this this chamber could seal and fill with water, but it, I mean, based on the like the way it's set up, it's pretty gunky. Um, it definitely hasn't been kept up, and your your I mean your best guess is like there's some sort of blockage somewhere. <laughs> like, uh, been there. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh, you got you got to clean the pipes out once in a while. Um, so yeah, definitely in dis in uh, disuse, we'll say. Okay. Yeah, let's continue forward, uh, Morbon. You should lead the way. Oops. Sorry. Follow me, man. Sorry. So I'm like wading through the water. Well, can I can I make um, a, a, a quick comment? Um, should we take a short rest? We just got uh, done beating a bunch of goo. I doubt we can rest in this. Yeah, this it's sewage. Like, 
Um, it, you, I, I, I don't see much of a place to rest in all of this shit. <laughs> yeah. It'd be gross. Yeah, we'll get contaminated bandaging your makeup. You might as well continue on and find a place that's more suitable. Okay, okay. But I mean, because you can see the exit to the room on the other side. Uh, Norabar okay. says he'll right. he'll take a, he'll go back uh, and kind of watch the rear hallway, and make sure you're not being followed. He's, he's got a feeling about these things. Um, you know, being attacked by goo. He's a wor- He's now worried about being attacked by Jello. All right. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I had to do it. I had to do it, guys. Uh, Fair enough. What's that? Was that Jerry? Fair enough. Fair enough. Right. Okay. Fair enough. Uh, I have, yeah, I gotta see, I, I can make, you- I, I can make anything work together. All right. Um, <laughs> so the, uh, but yeah, you, you, you go up ahead into a, another kind of hallway setup. Uh, this one's, it's getting a little narrower, uh, tearless. It's not narrow enough to like really block your, like, uh, like impede you from like, if you want to do a full gallop, but okay. it would definitely, um, uh, it's 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 about the limit of what you could handle. Okay, uh, don't worry. I won't full gallop here and slash you with this. Uh, this who who gunk. wants to take point on this? And I'm assuming uh, Morbarn has the. Uh, uh, I thought the Morbarn talon. was leading. Morbarn. The yeah. Well, I, yeah. I assume Morbarn has a ta- has the talon. Yeah. Okay. All right. So you you kind of see some like obligatory like uh, runes do start appearing with a talent as you kind of approach them. Uh, they seem to be indicating uh, levels of celebration. Hmm. Like people who've made it through the gauntlet perhaps. Yeah. See this. Yeah. Right, see this. That you made it through, you survived, congratulations, stuff like that. Um, but So I have more barn up front. Who do I have behind more barn? I'll go. I'll go. Zogchen. Zogchen. I'll, I'll go next for I guess too after Zong Chen. Okay, and then the back we have the cleric. All right, so and you begin advancing yeah. forward, um, and the the hallway is not terribly long, not like some of the other ones. Maybe thirty feet long. You get through it, and it looks like it opens up into a fairly large, uh, fairly good sized chamber. Um, and you can see in this chamber, unlike a lot of the previous places you've been, this one actually has like ruined furniture. And it looks like it was kind of set up as a place for like a celebration of some sort. Um, you well, can make what it looks to be like at one point might have been a uh, a bar. Um, definitely in disrepair. Definitely kind of like seen better days. Um, but you can make out the general shape of what shelves. Uh, there are some bottles still left on the shelves that of what the shelves are still intact. Um, and you can see this op- and you can see there's like several doors going out of this room and when i say doors i don't mean the path i mean like actual doors uh one is like made out of like iron the other ones look like kind of rotted wood and is that like across the route, like north of the room just just have an idea of the, um, the yeah they're, they're kind of on the, the back ends of the room and such like that okay. uh, kind of casually put around yeah okay. it's not quite as systemic as the sewers had been okay should we look around? Yeah, I. Yeah, I. Uh, this looks like a bunch of just broken stuff. I say we not waste our time in such a place, and uh, maybe perhaps follow uh, the horn where it indicates we should go. I don't think oh, that we will find the, much of anything wasting our time here. The the talon has been largely uh, at this point. You're not seeing any more of like the thieves can't runes on the walls. Um, you're guessing that the the talent is largely to get you through that that main part of the gauntlet, or these kind of like these kind of trials to get down into the um, uh, this place. Uh, but it does seem it's kind of weird because like you're probably two, three floors underground, and now there's like I mean, what looks to be the ruins of like a tavern or bar or something like that. Um, and to have it on the back huh. end of a gauntlet, it's kind of awkward. It feels weird. Mm-hmm. Like I don't know. It's it's kind of out of place. But it's. I mean, and there's no. There's not a lot of color in here. It's not like. Um, I mean, it's drab. It, it's definitely seem. It's dusty and gray and and the like. Uh, but it looks like maybe at one point there might have been some tapestries on the wall or something like that. Or, but they're all. Hmm. This room up rats. seems. Yeah. Um, like it- I'm going to just reach out and. Uh, uh, just cast, touch the wall, and cast a light to get a better okay. view and sense of uh, so you, everything. You, you touch the wall, us. and you touch a, you touch a brick, uh, one specific like, like stone, and it, it starts to glow. 
Um, the room lights up pretty well. Um, you can see there's different colored bottles on the, despite the dust, there's different colored bottles. Um, you do see there is a little bit of liquid in a few of them. Um, what's left of them from what hasn't essentially evaporated over time. Um, you can see that the bar actually at one point had a nice luster, but it's chewed through and gone now. Um, the doors, uh, one of them is distinctly like iron uh, with, um, it looks like a slot on it to kind of like, it's kind of the back, it's a very like middle back door, very prominent mm -hmm. in the room, um, very square door, very, very strong door. Um, and you can see there's like a like a, a little visor slot on it to open it up and everything like that. You're guessing that's probably like the more important element. Uh, the other doors look like they maybe go into there. There's no locks on them, stuff like that. You know, they're just mm -hmm. they're doors. What do you think? Should we uh, bother even going through the wooden doors and just check this iron one? Well. I mean, this room looks like at some point it had some significance to someone, you know. So um, I think perhaps looking past the the wooden doors to see if there's anything left. Yeah, you yeah maybe heard. Your best guess, Morbarn, is kind of based on what you're what you've seen at the the thieves' camp. Is that this was like the thieves' guild like retreat? Mm -hmm. This is where they came to hang out and share stories. It was kind of like their neutral ground. Like, nothing, like you didn't shed blood here. There was no thieving here. This was a place where they could just kind of casually be uh, and, 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 and just enjoy. Um, that okay. said, though, past the Iron Door, you're guessing, probably was like the, the you know, the uh, the corporate offices, we'll say, <laughs> of Thieves um. Guild um, and the like. Yeah, so. Okay. Steel Door. Okay. <laughs> All right, let's go. I'm, I'm just curious what happened to short rest, but all right. Uh, but, yeah, you, we could, <laughs> is anybody injured or need a... Uh, Zogchen yeah. is at 14 out of 35, from my understanding. Yeah. I, yeah. Back. I could use... Uh, do you get any... Sorry, do you get any spell rejuvenation on a short rest? I uh, not, uh, not clerics. You would get your, I, cha you would get your channel divinity back. <laughs> So you could, uh, I believe, I'm not sure, I think you guys are at the level where you could use Channel Divinity and um, you could use your Channel Divinity to heal anyone who's below half. Yeah, I haven't used that yet, though. Yeah, and I believe Channel Divinity uh, comes back after a short rest. Yeah, it comes back after a short rest. So you could so certainly I, use it. I I still, but I didn't use the channel divinity. I was going it, but then I mistakenly. Uh... Yeah, you you could put Zog Chen uh, back up to half hit points pretty easily. Then take your short rest, and then he. Yeah. Oh, that, that, that's the smart way. Okay, then yeah, let's go. I'll go ahead and uh, uh, peel up. Uh, so Zog Chen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Cool. So I'll I'll heal Zog Chen real quick for us. The monk, the monk will. Oh, okay. Will probably Here's need to take a break. break. <laughs> so yeah, you um. So yeah, uh, Zogchen, you go back up to 18 hit points, so you're, you're just above half. Um, and then you guys can short rest if you guys want to blow hit dice. You're welcome to it. Short rest. Okay, so, right, so let's see. I think the only person that's busted is Trouncer and Zogchen. Yeah. Uh, more barns at full. Yeah, I have nothing. Um, I don't, why don't I have... You points are back. I guess I forgot. Okay, well, I'm good. Uh, I'm ready right. to go. I'll, I'll use, I'll, you know, I'll use a hit die. I want to roll a d12. <laughs> Never get to? All right. <laughs> oh, come on. All right. Five plus two. Okay, seven. Oh, well. All right. Better nothing. Um, yeah. Okay, we're, we're good. Okay, right, there we go. Yeah, and I'll... Um, I'll Alundria is at full, too. So, yeah. So, just go and heal your dude up, and you're, you're good to go. Um... And uh, the overlay on D the D and D Beyond overlay will will show it, which is awesome. I love how the overlay works on the oh, stream; nice. it's really cool. So I can you can monitor just how much of your ass and get, is getting beat. Uh, <laughs> it's like a live. For how overlay. bad our math it's is. Live, it's live stats <laughs> on how bad you're doing. Um, yeah. So uh, yeah, so you, you guys kind of take a second and kind of rest up as you kind of stand there. Um, Morbarn, I'm going to give Morbarn and uh, Al Alundria time to kind of look around though while everybody else is kind of resting up so what do you guys want to look around while they're they're spending about um they're spending about an hour kind of chilling out kind of like getting their bearings back i'd like to investigate the liquid inside okay. the bottles 
Um, you go to some of the liquid. Um, a lot of the bottles are broken, but there is a. You see about uh, seven of them that are still intact with liquid in them. Mm -hmm. um, and they're you know you can you can get to them pretty easily. They're like you might have to clamber up the shelf a little bit more, barn, but it's not too much of a problem for you. You're very light. You're not going to break them or anything like that. So. Mm -hmm. It's just very old lager, flat. <laughs> it, it, no yeah. sherry. One of them. So <laughs> no, do you want not. To, do you want to pop the cork on any of them? Oh yeah. Okay. So sure. one of them you pop the cork on. Um, you you take a whiff of it and it is a very, uh, very very strong brandy. Mm. Like very strong, uh, you, you get kind of hit by it. You're guessing a decent amount of the alcohol has evaporated from it, mm -hmm. but it it does punch you a little bit. Um, okay. In, in, in the nose when you open it up. <laughs> stings the nostrils. It does sting the nostrils. Yeah. All right. Well, if it's not something that I could maybe trade. Oh, you might be able to. Oh. Um, you might be yeah. able to. I mean, it is, it, it's um, not the labels on it are kind of like faded and, and busted or broken, um, or you know, there's not working there too well. Um, a few of them you can tell the, they weren't even labeled, they were more just like scrawled on with the, like the bartender's own little code, you know, uh -huh. <laughs> just lost to the ages. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, and uh, but it, I mean, someone might look for it, look, you know, be interested in, in this, so yeah, we're drinking before um, battle, exactly, right. Um, yeah, I'll hold on to this guy. Okay. So you have a, you have a, uh, old, old, we'll put down, I'll put on your sheet for you an old bottle of brandy, um, for Mar, Mar Barn here. Okay. Yeah, maybe I can turn it into like a malt tub or something. Oh, yeah. That's a, uh, not a bad idea. That's, yeah. And like I said, the alcohol content on it, you can tell has been depleted. Three, Completely? Four. No, no, it's still there. It's just not as strong as it once was. You're not going to use it as a Molotov. You're not going to use it as a Molotov. Is what I'm trying to tell you. Yeah, it's a little more. It's a little more uh, syrup. Yeah. Let's say. It's, okay, it's, got it. It's, it's like it's on the ear. Yeah, What's it's a, reduce. Yeah, if you're gonna, if you wanted to coat your throat, this would be a good thing to drink to coat your throat. <laughs> so, in case anyone gets COVID in our campaign, hey, there it is. <laughs> yeah. hey, some of that. Hey man, I let my students last semester write uh, write adventures as one of their assignments, and yeah. a lot of them were about plagues. Yeah, uh, well, about half of them were about plagues. So, uh, homework at my school, <laughs> about half the people got it. Anyway, continue. Hey, hey, all right. <laughs> hey, uh, I'm gonna put it's it's on your thing. It's very old, depleted brandy. Very old, depleted. <laughs> very de very old, depleted brandy. Sounds might come in useful. No, you, no. Find someone, you might be able to, like, I mean, you can, you could probably trade it to a bartender or something like that. They might want it as, like, a unique drink or a higher-end thing to, like, uh, they might be able to splice something in there and help, you know. Also, you're a rogue. Maybe you can do the whole Indiana Jones switcheroo bottle. It is, yeah, it does have a bit of weight to it. Um, like. All right. Uh, what about uh, Alundria? So you see Morborn kind of going through the booze and, and sniffing a few of them, and then eventually well, finds one and pockets it. As I uh, have good perception and insight and investigation, I'm going to go ahead and just take a peek behind some of those wooden doors over there. Okay. Um, you go over to the, let's say you go over the, the wooden door on the left. Um, you kind of look through it, and it goes into a, a, a small um, hallway, maybe about 20 feet long, with a few, uh, four doorways, uh, two on each side. Uh, you can see pretty easily. Uh, one, of the doors, go the, one of the doors in the back is like completely rotted away like it's it's on the floor you can see just like the the leftovers of it um the other ones are all kind of a jar at the at the, at the least well i'm gonna go by and just kind of like greek them open uh take a peek inside the, the first one you look into you can see what looks to be um a set of uh decrepit uh bed frames uh, with what looks to be, you're guessing at one point was a mattress. Oh. Um, as I'm opening the doors, by the way, I'm just going to cast light on each yeah, of sure. them. Yeah, sure. Yeah, you light up one of the boards on the on. You light up one of the see boards a, just so I can see a little bit better. Yeah, as no, I'm for sure. Um, you can always if, cast yeah, it on your mace too. I mean. Oh yeah, yeah, I'll just put it on my holy shield then, and just yeah. kind of guide you, the you way. You light um, your shield up, and it's a nice little flashlight. Yeah. 
uh, and then I'll, I'll kind of just, you know, I, I don't have much of a use for going through a bunch of rubbish. You know, I'm only trying to find you, you kind of, you kind of look around. Um, there are like nightstands in here. Um, and there are some foot lockers. Um, the foot lockers. I will definitely take a, take a look in those foot lockers and perhaps I, I decide doors too. You know, it's a thieves guild. You might be able to find some, um, yeah, for some sure. leftover toys. So you kind of dig through um, the, you kind of go in the first room and you kind of like, you know, poke open the, the foot locker. I'm assuming you prod it with your mace before you start trying to like touch everything, like kind of poke it. Uh, you kind of poke it a little bit and um, it's not even locked. Uh, you open it up and inside it looks like there's like a, um, like a really beat up, decrepit blanket, uh, some bedding. Um, you do find in there a, uh, a grappling hook, but there's no rope for it. I'll take the grappling hook. Yeah, for sure. You should be able to find that in the in D and D Beyond. Real quick, to add to your sheet if you want to. Uh, is that under weapons or tools? Uh, it would be if you go to equipment and then just if you go to equipment and click manage equipment, um, you can do uh, filter and just type in grappling hook and it'll pop right up. Uh, equipment. Yeah, I can always add it. I can add it in real quick if you want to. Here, I'll just add it real quick. There it is. You have it now on sheet. So. Um, Man, that was fast. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 am, I am proficient at yeah. d and Proficiency bonus. And All right, I get it. I get it. Yes. Uh, I, have six, uh, I have 16 levels in d and I, I will also uh, pry open the, the drawers on the side of the bed. Right? Oh, yeah. There's a, the, the next stand doesn't even... It just comes up pretty easily. Um, inside, you find a... Um, what looks to be kind of like like an old book. Um, it's I'm gonna be afraid of that more of like a, a very wet and damp pamphlet. I'll open it. Okay, Look. you start to open it up, and like the pages kind of start peeling apart as you open it off of because they're kind of attached to now very much a part of the uh, the wood on on the nightstand's drawer. But you kind of open it up, and you can make out some of the words. Um, it looks like you're. Make an investigation check real quick, man. Just, just I roll. think I think I know what it is. Uh-oh. It's the Gideon. Is it, is it a is it a wet it's ass the, book? I think it's a dirty magazine. <laughs> <laughs> Pages are all stuck uh, together. A zero, so a nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. So you you take a uh, you take a look at it, and uh, you're pretty sure it's kind of like a, a set of of the guilds the guilds uh, bylaws. Like kind of an introductory right. to the guild type thing, but it's I mean you can't read most of it. It's 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 most of it's illegible, illegible and some of it's like it's just destroyed. All right, well I'll finger through it a bit and then just kind of toss okay. it aside. I guess. As you finger through to it, it turns more and more into a mush. <laughs> mm. All right, well I'll move my way to the next the next room then. Okay, uh, there is another Foot Locker in this room. Oh, yeah, I'll check it out. Yeah, so you, this uh, one, I, I've got plate plate armor though, so I'm just gonna kind of use my my boot to kind of like kick it open, you know? Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, yeah, you're wearing you're wearing your well, you have chainmail on, but you do have like plated boots, so you you kind of you kind of kick it open a little bit, um, and it uh it does open up without much issue. Uh, this one you can see um is is actually pretty empty. Uh, there is like a um, like a like a half chewed apart uh, leather pouch, but there's mm-hmm. nothing in it. All right, I'll just move on to the next room then. All right. So you keep on, you guys kind of keep on going on. More barn, you guys, you guys all hear more barn digging through the uh, the booze. Um, as a uh, uh, Alundria, you kind of go into this next room. Um, this one, you see that the where the bed frames are and the mattress, like the other room, you kind of saw the mattresses that kind of fallen through the bed frames. This one, you can see where the mattresses, like they're not where the bed frames would be. They're more in the center of the room, piled up together in a, in a rather grotesque pile. Um. So you're not sure if they either like like maybe if um, someone put the mattresses on top of each other. Or if, like, I don't know, if, like, they fuse together over time. I don't, you know, it's, it's just weird. There's a big pile of, like, mush of uh, straw and, like, fabric, and it's all wet and nasty. And it does smell pretty bad. 
I'm gonna dive head first into it. Let's do it. I so know it's coming. So Alundria, so you're you're sitting there like going through it, and you guys, you suddenly see Morbar come up behind you, and it's all like, just dive in, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta you gotta ride the you gotta ride the nasty way. <laughs> I got nothing to lose. Okay. So uh Morborn goes up uh Morborn, as you take a few steps into it, you notice that parts of the pile start to stare back at you. Uh oh. Cool. Uh I'm gonna take uh I'm gonna go straight into the defense. Okay. So you, you and, pull your and sword. Draw, yeah, I'm drawing. I'm drawing my uh, my dual wields. Right, so you pull you pull your shorts on your dagger. Yeah. And do we do we see this? Do we see no, this? Yeah, we're just chilling out there, hearing them going through stuff while you guys are resting. Yeah. Talking about. I wonder what those guys are doing. Uh, yeah. So yeah. yeah totally. <laughs> I wonder. What um, but you, you you do see, uh, and then you start seeing uh, your, with your gnome vision, you kind of pick it out. You start seeing like. Teeth, little tiny teeth start matching the eyes, and you notice. Oh, is it a mid? So you're starting to see that there's probably <laughs> like a few dozen rats inside this pile of mush. Oh, never mind. It looks like a rat nest. You're pretty sure. Uh, cool, awesome, cool. <laughs> so I I hightail out of there. Okay, so you're like, all right, Olivia, you have fun. <laughs> I'm just going to kind of kick the lid back shut on that thing. Okay, so you, you close that you close that door to that room, and say you, you rats have fun. Um, okay. All right. There's still uh, two more. There's still two more rooms. Yeah, in the yeah. Back. I was gonna say make my way to the. the okay. One the of them has a, a decrepit door, and the other one has a door that's fallen off the hinges. Yeah, decrepit go door. Go ahead and just kick the. Go ahead and just kick the decrepit door All through. Right. You kick the decrepit door, and you know so much like you, you thought maybe like you'd kick it open, but you more just kick it in. It falls off the hinges at a rather loud sound. As you do, um, you 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 pick up pretty easily with your ears, uh, which are actually pretty solid. That um, you can hear behind you like a lot of kind of crinkling, uh, skittering sounds coming from the room behind you with the open door. I'm gonna go ahead and, or, sorry, I'll get hey, right back. Alchen, uh, uh, tra trouser, trouser, why don't you guys <laughs> so, come over here? Okay. Zalchen is just stretching out. Morborn still is like not too far from you actually, and you hear this pretty easily. Um, but as you look behind you, Alundria, you see that like um, with your with your lit shield, uh, you can see very clearly. Uh, at least six red eyes looking out of that room directly at you, and you see what looks to be pretty. Uh, I, I'd go so far as to say more barn-sized rats. Let's All right, set them I up. I'm going to hightail it to the other side of the room. Okay. Kind of where the uh, where the. Uh, All right. Well, we'll we'll go ahead and uh, we're going to go ahead and roll initiative because yeah, yeah. uh, the. Uh, the giant, the giant rats definitely. Uh, okay, then never mind that. Let's just roll initiative. <laughs> <laughs> I did not roll well. I rolled an eight. Oh, okay. you did better than me. I rolled right. six. I got twenty. Twenty. Nice. Okay. Uh, Ready? I'm, I'm, just, I'm just doing a flying sidekick okay. right, right into the rats. So who had the, the highest? It was Zogchen had a twenty. I got twenty. Uh, I don't know what Morbon got. What, Sixteen. Sixteen. And what nice. did Alundria get? Uh, eight. Eight, okay. So, yeah, so Zogchen, so you're standing there, and you're just kind of sitting there stretching out, and you hear, like, Alundria start screaming about, like, I need help, I need help, I need an adult. And, uh, <laughs> you, you, uh... An adult? Yeah, you kind of stand, you, you stand up and start moving, I mean, basically at this point, you can move to the doorway and see him, uh, in the hallway. Yep. Uh, but you don't get, you don't get there, unless you, I think you can, can't you blow a key point to move further or something like that? Uh, do I have that Step yet? of the wind, yes. Uh, you would um you have all your key points back you yeah know, yeah yeah, yeah. Rest, uh, yeah. yeah i'm gonna i'm gonna burn a key point i'm ready to go okay so you you actually just straight up deck into there and you get Hell right yeah. up next to the uh the rats uh mm -hmm. that's your whole turn though is getting right up next to them okay um you double move and you use your bonus action to to adapt to step of the wind all right yep. next up was the 16 so more barn uh, you, as you stand there zogchen just kind of moves you out of the way and goes rushes in the hallway uh, you can see at the end of the hallway, Alundria uh, getting confronted by these these three large rats, and like they're about the size of you, like dog sized rats. Yeah. Um... <laughs> <laughs> about that. 
can I? Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm just gonna try to get just kill some rats. Of a lunger. Yeah. Yeah, just try to. So you you yeah. run up you run up to one of the rats and you go and try to stab it. Uh, go ahead and make an attack roll, Morbarn, with your uh, uh -huh. with your uh, bone sword of the Iron Tower. Got it. 17. 17. You hit it. Hell yeah. Up. Give me the damage plus sneak attack. Okay. So 3d6 plus 5. <clears throat> Stand by. <laughs> 12. 12. Okay. So you, wow. you go up and nice. you one of these rats as it's like imposing on Alundria you kind of come up and you skewer it right through the side uh, through it's like middle of it's cardiovascular system and it, it's you pull your blade out and it like it's actually in pretty good sh it, the, the rat it's actually doesn't look that injured but I mean it's it just falls dead immediately um, and I'm just covered in blood <laughs> uh, it, it didn't actually it was actually a pretty clean cut it was actually just, you looks like you found dinner yeah you, yeah, you, you skewered it uh, all right, yeah, let's have some giant rack of bobs. Uh, I'll drizzle, I'll drizzle a little bit of my brandy reduction <laughs> yeah. on it. All right, um, I think next was tearless. Uh, no, uh, what'd you get? I got six. Oh, you got six. Okay, well, it's the rats. Turn. So the rats, it's actually the rats turn. um, the rats, uh, see Morbarn and start trying to one of them sees what you did and starts trying to notch you, uh, Morbarn. Let's see here. Uh, it takes a shot at you and misses horribly. Uh, the other one, though, does try to eat at Alundria. Uh, Alundria? No. Oh, shit. It actually got you. Um, Alundria. 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 Like moon. moon. Like the moon. Like the moon. Gotcha. Uh, like right. Looney Tunes. <laughs> yeah. Alundria. Okay. Uh, Alundria. This thing, this thing does strike you. It, it does manage to get through um, a part of your boot or part of your uh, leggings are a little more revealed. Uh, you take six points of damage. Uh, I'm going to be did. like, oh, ah! yeah, it does bastard, hurt. and I'm going to fucking cast a sacred <laughs> yeah. flame. Okay, you I cast sacred flame on it. It makes its uh, wisdom saving throw. Is actually not too bad. Or, or sorry, uh, sorry, it's a dex saving throw. I think it is. Dex. Dex. Okay. So they got to make a dex saving dex throw. Dex fourteen. Um, All right. Yeah, they fail. So give me the damage on that. Nice. That's eight points of damage. All right, so you're you, the one that bit you. You, you get oh, and you, you you summon the light of Ku, and it like and suddenly this thing's like eyes, its mouth glows, and it just kind of bursts out and just falls to the ground, um, hollowed out pretty well. You're you're pretty sure from the light. Um, it goes to uh, Tearless. So Tearless, you're looking back there, and uh, there's not a lot of room for you. Yeah, I was gonna say how congested is that hallway? It is congested. <laughs> And I okay, and I hear screaming, and I see the flames. <laughs> Bunks there. Uh, I'm gonna yell. Uh, I mean, I, I'll just go as far as I can. But I said, uh, yeah, you come up to the door and you kind of look down the hallway, and you're like, "That's a lot of people for one rat." There's like one rat still kind of moving around. <laughs> Whatever it is, draw the creature out, and I'll just. Uh, <laughs> All right. I'll just wait. I'll just hang back because I, I I'll we'll get all yeah. set up. back to the yeah. top. Uh, Zogchen, so you're standing there. There's, there's like these two rat carcasses on the ground. And one's still kind of active. It looks like it's getting ready to try to bite you. Plus, I oh, I give him. I give him the side. fist of the North Star, baby. Okay, go for it. Give me the attack <laughs> yeah. action. Give me that. Uh, well, I get, I get two. Yeah. Um, arm strike. Or you can use your short sword and your arm strike if you want to. What's that? Well, you have a short sword. You have arm strike. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. use my short sword and then and then punch him. Yeah, of course. Naturally. Yeah. Just like punching a rat. Giant rat. Um. Okay. Well, let's see. One is uh. What's that? What's fun? One is nine and one is twenty-one. The twenty-one will hit. Yeah. Okay. Your short sword. Um, your short sword managed to miss the rat, but your punch lands true. What's 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 punch again? Was uh, a D4? D4 plus three. Of course, getting. D4 out of the bag is possible. And you get Marshall. You your foot. I find that, that feet can find D4 is much quicker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they can. <laughs> that, it's a legend. You also get like a Marshall uh, hit die or whatever, right? So you can replace your, if you roll a bad four-sided die, I think you can re-roll it. No, actually I rolled a four. So. Oh, nice. Yeah. So yeah, your, your, punch, 
you, you put a punch straight and you crack the thing's spine in one shot. Yeah. Right? Um, and now you're just three dead rats kind of laying in a pile in the back of this hallway. Um, like that. So yeah. pretty, pretty, pretty quick combat. Um, you, you look back in that room, uh, Alundria, and you can see that there was like a large pile of stuff in that room. Um, you're guessing that these were like the king rats of the area. Well, I'm still gonna go investigate. Okay. Um, you go into the the room where the giant rats came from, and you can see that their nest is much more complicated than the other ones. But it's also made partially out of um, like you're guessing like the legs of chairs and stuff like that. They are dragging bigger things back here, um, and you can see there's some shiny objects in there as well. I definitely start kind of pulling apart this to okay. see what. Treasures lie below. You, you, you take about uh, you take a, about uh, ten twenty minutes to, to pull apart, and you can see uh, you end up finding about um, uh, about twenty seven silver pieces nice. and uh, nine gold pieces inside the Ooh. pile. Um, in addition, you, you do find that there is like um, uh, about five like what look like throwing spikes. Nice. Uh, of use and uh, you do find a rather uh, nicely made, uh, still intact. It does need a bit of polish. Uh, silver cup. Nice. Uh, you said nine gold, twenty-seven silver. Yeah. I yell down the hallway. What's happening? <laughs> <laughs> uh, seem to have found some gold in a nice silver cup within all this shit. <laughs> yeah. Oh, excellent. <laughs> Good job. Let me know if you need my help. I'll be in this doorway. <laughs> All right. So uh, your little venture with the rats here. Uh, yeah, but you dig through their... Um, you can kind of see that they've gathered a lot of more shiny and uh, more valuable objects in here, uh, which honestly wasn't much. Um, the the throwing spikes would be... If you're curious, throwing spikes are basically just... Th they're, they're like daggers, but you can only throw them. Um, so... So I'm better. still trying to figure out how to find the thing. So I'm under equipment, and I'm just typing in the the, the search mm -hmm. item name. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Throwing spikes. Uh, they oh. won't be on there. Just just use daggers. Oh. Uh, yeah. Okay. Right. Throwing spikes are my own little. They're just they're just throwing daggers basically if you want them. So. Um, uh, or darts. They work. Like, they actually work like a darts would be a more appropriate term. Actually. Yeah. Someone's like following you. You can just. Yeah. Yeah, throw it hard now. All right, so um, I think darts have a longer thrown range than, than daggers. So, anyways, uh, so you guys, so you guys kind of like deal with this and everything like that, and you guys rest up. You're feeling better about yourselves, um, and you kind of find what looks to be like a kind of sleeping quarters, um, kind of a lay low type area uh, for the the, the the thieves guild. Kind of if it, maybe someone like party too hard, they can go back there and sleep or whatever it is, or they need to keep low for a while. A party um, nap room. Yeah, nap room. There you go. The thieves guild nap room. Uh, get your binky. <laughs> um, but, uh, and it looks like, yeah, this place is definitely rat infested, um, for sure. But rightfully so. Uh, there is still the iron door and the other wooden door. I'd say um, wooden door first. Yeah, yeah, after finding so much stuff, um, what do you guys think? After finding gold and some things amongst all the rats, would you guys want to investigate behind the uh, other wooden door before we obviously... Yeah, take this I think over? we have time. I think we have okay. time. Yeah, let's do it. We're behind you. So you, you go up to the other wooden door, and this one... Um, uh, this one opens up pretty easily as well um and you it has a latch on it but you kind of get the latch no problem uh and who's opening this one up More i'll open it you sounds like a trap it. you open up and it looks it's like a series of like crumpled uh shelves and it looks like there was like bags of of grain and stuff like that but it's all been like eaten through it's a i mean it's a complete freaking mess in here it looks like a storeroom um, you can see a hole. What do you kind of pick it up? You can see there's a hole in the floor on the door where like the rats got through eventually. Um, but it's just a mess of a storeroom. Looks like our foes, the rats, have beaten us to this. Uh, what kind of grain? <laughs> Any <What kind laughs> <of> <laughs> Uh, you can go look through the rat feces and, and find out. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I'm curious. John, I forgot to ask what the names of the rats were. 
Uh, they were uh, sleepy, <laughs> dopey, sleepy, dopey, and Doc. Um, there you go. <laughs> nice. So yeah. Okay. Um, what about? Okay, so you guys kind of gather up and you're realizing this iron door is kind of the way, like the secure way forward. And it's not locked or anything. No, it is locked. It, you oh, haven't it tried is. it yet, but it does look like it's probably locked. More barn. Mm-hmm. You'll have to yeah, use your tools I, on this. Okay. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so more barn, you go up and you, you bust out your little your little kit of these tools. Um, see if you can try to like pry and pick it open. Uh, make a uh, roll a d twenty and add uh, six to it. Mm. We're all intently watching her because we have no idea what she's doing, or I am at least. What are you doing? 19. 19. Okay. So you go up to the door and you start, like, it does have a lock on it, but you're also realizing that it probably has, like, some sort of, um, like, other latches on the other side as well. And you start kind of uh-huh. picking through it and you take some time with it um, as you're going. And you do manage to kind of, like, get it open uh, after, it takes you about, like, 10, 20 minutes to do this, but you, you go to town on it for a while and you do manage to get it open. Hmm. So the door is unlocked now. Okay. Good job, Morgan. Look at what yeah. I did. Wow, that thing. was excellent. I did the thing. Yeah. Um, it, I did a thing. It took me a while, but. It did take you a while, yeah. It was a little more complicated. You're ready to go. But then again, what do you expect from the Thieves Guild? Uh, you know? So. <laughs> so true. So this, this door opens up into. Um, a, uh, a short hallway about 15 feet long that looks like it goes into a you do see past it this hallway though is actually much much better shape than the room you've been in mm-hmm. it looks like whatever this, this door is going to keep stuff out it kept stuff out okay oh the goddamn rats oh the damn rats yeah they don't chew through iron too easily <laughs> um not in this generation so generally then, <laughs> so yeah you you do manage to um see that there's a uh uh, a short tu- a short tunnel and it looks like it goes into uh, another room this one's um it does you can see there's tables in it and there's chairs and it looks like it's in much better shape no doors uh you haven't gone that far into the room yet okay. oh uh, uh more run more run check for traps oh yes traps i've seen stuff like this in the monastery some of the more creepier monks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Um, the kinky wanna, monks. Uh, make a uh, some more. You kind of you want to look around the hallway real quick. Uh, make a perception uh-huh. check. Cool. Three. Three. Okay. So you start looking around. <laughs> well. The, so you start looking around the, the the hallway a little bit, and you're not seeing any um, anything obvious. Uh, you can also try to poke and prod around with investigation if you want to. Um, uh, can I step in? Yeah, and sure. Investigate as well. All right, maybe. Uh, yeah, go for it. Sorry, I was just going to say, uh, let me take a look as well real fast. Right, uh, Alundria, make a, make a percentage <laughs> check. <laughs> Alundria's just like, ah, I think you well, <laughs> what'd you get? 12. 12, okay. So Alundria, you kind of start looking around in there a little bit around and you're not seeing anything like noticeable uh in terms of like triggers or anything like that like you don't see a tripwire or you don't see any nothing kind of out of the ordinary for you um okay okay now do you want me to just run down this hallway to the other room full, full gallop full gallop <laughs> unless it's um, safe you guys and there the other option is to actually do investigation where you actually start trying to poke and prod and try to find the things but it does have it does run the risk of triggering things too so uh i don't know i uh, both me and Morbarn took a look and it doesn't seem <laughs> to be anything uh, Let, yeah allow me to go first then i i do i am dexterous as a centaur mm. i can gallop over some traps as such okay all right i just have danger sense that's all <laughs> <I got. laughs> But you talk a big game, that's the important part. Yeah. So, what, so once you set a trap, you'll know that a trap is set, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so it only takes okay. one. If anybody wants to ride on me as well, you're, you're welcome. <laughs> All right. So, um, Trouncer, Trans- so you start moving down the hallway. Uh, do you go at a fast pace, slow pace? What do you do? Uh, kind of. I'm, kind, I'm going to go kind of a slow pace. Okay, you just kind of take your time going down the, down the room. And... Um, 
as you do, there <laughs> is a uh, you you hit you you do you do at some point as you guys see him going down the hallway. Uh, you don't see anything happen to him, but you start hearing something, and you start oh. hearing this kind of like jingle jangle of bells coming from down further down the hallway as he goes down down it. Bells! And they're not, Did I run? They're not like loud bells. It's not like bong. bong. It's more like bing, 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 like that kind of stuff, like that. Like uh, someone has like, uh, a, like like a jingle bell, like an alarm system. Yeah. yeah. And uh, as you do, um, uh, move down the hallway, uh, Trouncer, uh, you start hearing like the scooting of chairs and tables. Oh shit! Abound uh, from the room up ahead as you kind of come down. I'll do you want to continue forward. on, or do what do you want to do? Oh yeah, I just charge okay, you charge in. Okay, you you tr- okay, you're like screwing. You, tr- you guys are hearing the jingle jangle, okay. and you see Trouncer's like, oh, I gotta pick up the pace. He goes in the pace. You go into the room, and in the room you see um, surprise. You see <laughs> you see about seven individuals uh, standing up with weapons drawn. Uh, uh, among them, you see what looks to be uh, four bugbears with uh, <laughs> large clubs. Um, and but the other two are the other three excuse me, are much out of place. You have not seen an individual like this at all. One of them stands in like full on plate armor oh, with shit. like uh, a long, uh, rather impressive looking um, fur kind of cloak on. Um, mm. And he's carrying like a large great axe uh, with, with he's got horn and you can't see his face at all. The other uh, two look to be very similar to the. Um, the guards you knew in the pit, wearing oh, wearing, oh shit. wearing armor, they look like uh, Zahash's men. Well, they're into a brute awakening when they see my codpiece. <laughs> <laughs> well, you better bring your codpiece no, up here real quick. I wear, I wear your god as a codpiece. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and it's like it's like where it's like it's like it's like that, coming in. It's the deleted scene in Conan where you don't see Schwarzenegger coming out with uh, James Earl Jones' head as a cod piece. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> that was the Thistle of Doom cod piece. You didn't catch that scene. Uh, Thistle Doom. Yeah, I was about to say James Earl Jones. There's no James Earl Jones in Atlantia. Uh, <laughs> uh, All right. Um, I guess I. I mean, they're just staring at me. I'm like, yeah. I say. Uh, so tomorrow they you and they see you uh, all have weapons drawn the no um, need <laughs> what's that uh i just yell uh, oh shit um i guess i yeah I, I just yell um i found them so that everybody else knows okay. and you can see there's some other doors in this room as well um other okay. iron doors um so you you yell you yell to your friends and stuff like that um the one with the great axe the guy in full plate with the great axe kind of like he's whole, he has it up and he starts walking towards you this guy like uh, you don't recognize him at all. His, okay. He looks foreign in terms of like you've never seen someone wearing this heavy armor. Uh, his helmet style doesn't look like standard at all. Like he does not look like a, one of Zahash's men at all. Okay. I but say, you're I pretty address, sure yeah. he's in charge. I say, um, uh, warrior there. Uh, who are you and what are you doing here with these men? <laughs> oh my. Um, yeah. Trying to go kind of mellow, but kind of, you know. Okay, okay. Well, we got it out for Zahash. Yeah, yeah. no doubt. And then, who knows, maybe he's with the Untamed, I'm thinking, because he's a bugbear. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm. So. Do you know Moel? Yeah. <laughs> we are um. Moel's friends. Yeah, he was my father. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so he's st- he kind of comes forward uh, holding his axe. He doesn't have it at the ready, but he's holding it, and you can tell. Yeah. Uh, and I don't have weapons drawn or anything. I just kind of went in. You know, I'm not. Yeah, like, yeah. No, you, you, you do have your shield ready, but that's about it. Yeah. He uh, he kind of comes forth with with the axe, and he uh, you can kind of hear it as a low grumble through his uh, mask, through his helmet. He says, "I am Hawkon of the North." That's spelled H A A K O N. Okay. Hawkon? Hawkon. Are we in the room yet? Uh, you guys can be. 
Uh, you'll hear the jingle I'm gonna jangle. I'm going to be in the room. Um, every, so as, they, as your friends kind of come in behind you, the jingle jangle triggers every time one of them comes through. And you can see the bugbears getting you more and more paranoid. Hakan, you, you can't get any read on Hakan because you can't see him at all. Um, yeah. And his two other guys are definitely drawn with swords and, um, and uh, shields drawn, much in the standard uh, as a Hashin guard. Uh, you saw uh, these guys are none of these guys though you're pretty sure are wizards like none of them are like the wizard cast or anything okay. like that um, or the wannabe uh, basically the wannabe liches um, yeah I tell Hakan uh, well Hakan um, we're here for those um, gods those two men are, we're searching for men like them um, our business doesn't concern you you wouldn't mind surrendering them surrendering them over <laughs> I, uh, while that's happening, I, I scream out to the two guys, like, yo, po boys. <laughs> and I, and okay. I point to the card piece. So, so, the so as you come in, um, so, so nice Zogchen man. comes in with his whole fucking WWE fucking <laughs> entrance. Like, like he's fucking DX, like, he, like he's fucking Shawn Michaels in the 90s and shit. Like, you know, he's all, suck it! And like, <laughs> uh, yeah. Pico. So you, yeah, so you, you come on in, um, and the rest of you guys kind of come in. As, as you notice more, the, the jingle comes in uh, more and more uh, tearless. You can see the, the one people that are getting nervous are the bugbears. They're like, shit, there's more of them. Um, so the, the bugbears uh, are, are clothed in pretty much like uh, hide armor for the most part, like leather, kind of shoddily made leather armor at best. Okay. Um, and they do seem to have all um, have great clubs. Um, that is like spiked clubs. Um, where they're not like as the other guys are pretty well armed and armored uh, are wearing definitely distinct gear um, you you can tell that the Hawk, Hawkon is like kind of looks at the two kind of his his helmet kind of looks at the two of them you can't see his eyes um, and you can see the he's, his armor is like it's like a heavy kind of chainmail color with like bright blue ridges on it um, and uh, you can definitely tell this when he says north I mean he's talking like frozen wastes Oh, so gotcha, this guy's okay. like you've heard of um, Northern Warriors, something you've always you kind of heard stories about from other prisoners that came to the camp, and yeah, you always kind of want you wanted to see one of these guys in person. Uh, and here yeah. here he is. You are impressive. He, he does. You can tell under his armor, he's still a big dude under his armor. Um, but uh, he kind of lurches forward with the uh, past the uh, the two other guards, um, and so, looks at them and says. <laughs> You, you, you wish to take arms against these these faithful to Zahash. Hey, John, how big is this room? Uh, this room is probably about like forty feet squared. It's not terribly big. I mean, I mean, height wise. Oh, height wise. Um, it goes. The ceiling goes about ten feet. Ten feet. All right. Well, just from the very know, from I, the I, back, I can, sorry, I can Hulk out. Yeah, you can. You can Hulk out. Yes. Yeah, From drawing. the back, you you can hear uh, Alundria say, "My God, laughs at Zahash." <laughs> no, I like how you're not in the room while you say that. <laughs> so, so, uh, so as yeah, you, kind of for, you can see the ha Hakan, like he's kind of like, "Okay, so you're here for these guys." Okay, that's one thing. Um, and then he he kind of looks uh, and he sees the the obsidian dwarf walk in. Um, a look, the the priest of Alundria walk in, and along with Morborn walk in, uh, and this very proud, this very proud uh, centaur, and he um, he's kind of looking around, and uh, Zogchen kind of makes a big deal about his cod piece as he walks in, and Harkon like doesn't seem phased. The bugbears are like, okay, it's a cod piece. The two <laughs> guys, the two guards, the Suza Hashi and guards, uh, guards kind of look there, and they're like. You can tell. Uh, I want Zogtan to make an intimidation check with advantage. Yeah, I know he's you're fucking high. So, uh, uh, I don't know what's what's my. my oh, you have plus zero to intimidation, but you oh, have yeah, advantage. Well, I got that. Charisma. You got nineteen. Yeah. Okay. So you you kind of come in and you're showing them, and the two of them kind of look and like are like, they kind of start like kind of getting closer to each other, start whispering to each other, and Harkon is like looking dead ahead at, at Tearless. Uh, screw, you can kind of, he's got kind of that death dealer kind of helmet going action going mm -hmm. on. You, can, you can't even see his eyes. There's kind of a glow there, uh, but it's a little bluish instead of red. And he, um, he 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 kind of looks behind him a little bit and says, "What's with the skull?" And the uh, the two the two guys are kind of whispering to each other like, "It's it's, it's one it's um it's the skull of the Jarzok. 
and he's like Harkon like keeps on looking forward he's like who the hell is Zar- Jarza <laughs> he doesn't know who this guy is and he's like he, he was he was our master the, the master of our masters and he's like oh, I don't work for him so I don't care he's, he's, so he seems not to give a yeah. shit he doesn't seem to give a shit about the skull the other two guys definitely seem scared well that's who I was talking to yeah yeah. yeah, the bugbears don't know what the fuck is going on. Like they're like, "What the fuck is this?" Okay, there's a skull around the dude's dick. Like, what do you want me to do about it? <laughs> like, like, you know, they don't understand. Like, the, but the other two guys are definitely fucking freaked out. Um, and uh, I would say that. Um, like, does Alun- he say anything? Uh, uh, Alundria, get- you pick up the, the, the two uh, guards, the ones that are wearing like the tabards of um, of, of Zahash. They look like they're gonna make it. They're they're getting ready to maybe make a beeline for the door behind them. Um. Fuck. <laughs> All right. Uh. Enough talk. Servants of Zahash deserve nothing but death. And I'm just gonna fucking cast a sacred flame on one of those dudes. One of the guards. Okay. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Right. If Norovar was here, he'd be, oh, he'd be so, so fucking out. He'd be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Think about this. Okay. Um, uh, roll, give me damage on that. Um, give me damage on that, Alindria. Maybe we can buy, buy uh, a coin off. It, it, do I need to make a hit? Oh, yeah, no, he had, yeah, he had to make a sex. Uh, he had to make a, not a sex save. He had to make a deck save. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I so, thought I, I thought I had to roll that. Game has changed, no, Jeff. No, okay. Yeah, so, no, it's just it's Sacred Flame is a, a dexterity check on their part. All right. Well, five. Five. Okay. Damn. So you, so the guys like kind of make a beeline, and also you go, you, your 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 radiant energy bursts on him. Um, nice. You can see this kind of like this like moon glow of appears on him. He's ah, and he's like oh gee, and he, he's he's that one is now direct as opposed to being like kind of like I'm gonna go to the door. He's running for the door, and we're on that note. We're gonna roll initiative and pick it up next time. Shit! Ah, I didn't even look at what time it is. That sucks. Damn uh, it! I'm gonna, have to fight. I'm gonna have to fight Harkon. <laughs> Fifteen. No, we'll, we'll, no, we'll, we'll roll it at the beginning of next time. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I'm not gonna sit there and save the fucking combat and all that shit. All I want to know is like, one, dude, one dude in the in the. In, I want my fifteen. I'm just kidding. One of, the, one of the guys. One of the guys is down five hit points. That's all you need to know throughout the combat. So, but I do okay. have. If you want to know what Harkon looks like, this is what he looks like. I'll put it on the yeah, camera. I um, okay. Okay. I, I want his helmet. That's kind of what I was thinking. Like, yeah, I mean, he's like, like. Yeah. Yeah. He, he's a. He's a. He's a horny dude. fellow. <laughs> yeah, sorry about that, guys. I was no, no. Uh, at this it's point, good. I was just like, uh, fuck, fuck. It, it reminds me of the, oh, if okay. you guys ever read the goon. It reminds me of um, oh, what, yeah. is, uh, what is the part? He's like, he's like, yeah, that's a that's a really good story, but fuck in the eyes. <laughs> <You know? Yeah. laughs> All right. Well, that was fun, guys. Uh, that was a good one. Yeah. Um, I'm not sure. That was that was fun. It was kind of good explore, exploration. You got to fight some rats. Uh, we had a good time, and uh, Dominic wasn't here. So, um, but we'll, <laughs> that was best. And hence, and hence, what is happening right now? Right, right. What is yeah. happening. Uh, I, tried, I tried for you, Dominic. He's gonna be so bummed. I know. It's a good uh, fucking you know thing. That, that's wasted. why we have it up on Twitch. He can watch the the replay. Yeah. You know, catch up. What's the rat is that? I, we're, I, we're I wasted all... all of my spells on him last time. <laughs> <laughs> or the uh, burger well, bucket. In that case, we'll, we'll pick it up next. We'll pick it up next week on next Wednesday and everything. Thanks everyone for tuning in uh, and everything. But yeah, we'll hopefully be at the normal time. I I had a meeting and it was a, it's it's a Wednesday for meeting. Sometimes it happens. You know. Yeah. All right, guys. We'll take it easy. Thanks for everyone. All right, later. <laughs> Bye. All right. So that was funny. Nice. We uh, and we should be. That was. The wheel of fortune turns. I go down, demeaned. Another is raised up. Far too high up should she keep at the same. Let him fear ruin.